Hello, I'm Gavin Townsend. Today I'm going to show you how to do the squat properly using the power rack and a barbell. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to be facing this way, whereas traditionally I tend to face inwards so it's easier to hook the barbell back onto the rack in case I wish to stop. I'm going to use some safety tools. I'm going to use the power rack bars either side so that limits my range of motion. My range of motion goes to about here at a 90 degree angle with my glutes facing backwards and it helps me to limit the range of motion having these bars here if I wanted to fall back. Um, picking the barbell off the rack using the threads either side of the barbell helps me to gain some equal balance and equal distance either side. Picking the barbell off the rack I'm now going to keep my toes facing forward at all times or if I wanted to do a zumo squat I would bring the feet at a 45 degree angle each side. But for the main purpose of this video we're going to point the toes forward at all times. As I squat down I'm going to keep looking up keeping a neutral spine and I'm going to breathe in as I go down on the eccentric movement and I'm going to breathe out as I go up on the powered up movement which is the concentric movement. On the eccentric I'll take my time going slowly, on the concentric I'll power up. I'll also pause for about a second as I squat down making sure that I get more effort upon the quads, the glutes, hamstrings and also the calves. By looking up at all times I'm ensuring that my back's going to be less under pressure and I put more pressure upon the legs. After all it's a leg exercise and there is also main dominance on the glutes, the quads and slightly on the lower back. So if you do get pressure on the lower back it's probably because you're not squatting properly. So we're going to take a deep breath in as I squat down, deep breath in as I squat down, all the way down, stick my bum back, breathing in and breathe out as I go up. So doing that again Slow on the eccentric, going down, breathing in, pause, and breathe out, quick going up. Stepping back, I now rack the barbell. That's a squat using the power rack with a barbell. There are other variations you can use, such as dumbbells, medicine balls. You can do plyometric jumps as well, using the squat. But one of my favourites is always using the barbell. For any tips, feel free to visit GavinTownsend.com, follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel.